A security camera rolling as 64-year-old Anise Tungenker confronts a 30-year-old driver in the West Loop. According to witness statements, there was an initial verbal altercation between Anise and the Uber driver at the presidential towers at Madison and Jefferson. At that time, the Uber driver damaged Anise's side view mirror to his cab and then uh, drove off. Tung Ganker follows him to Jefferson and Washington. Anise pulled his uh, cab in front of the Uber driver, exited, verbally confronted him, pointing out the damage that he had done to the cab. He then goes to the passenger side of the car and appears to fold in the side view mirror. At that time, the Uber driver got out of the, his car, walked up to Anise, roundhouse kicked him, striking him in the head till he fell to the ground. Two days after this Labor Day weekend attack, he died from his injuries. The night that my father died, his killer was released from custody without charges. And here we are three months later. The victim's family, along with their attorney, demanding today the driver be charged. Despite all the evidence, the state's attorney remains reluctant to charge this man. And what this reluctance signals to us is that as far as the state is concerned, my father's life had no value, that it was dispensable, not worth fighting for. We reached out to the Cook County State's Attorney's Office and they say this is still under investigation by Chicago police. We're told by Uber, the man involved in this incident hasn't driven since that day. We're in the... Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.